Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Part Shala. In this video, we would be discussing uh, Linux fundamentals. This would be the first video in this series where we would be discussing multiple Linux commands and the basics that are needed for a day-to-day -day job of a DevOps engineer or an SRE. To begin with, let's see what Linux is. Linux is a family of open source uh, Unix operating system based on the Linux kernel. They include uh, different operating systems like Ubuntu, CentOS, Fedora, Debian, OpenSUSE uh, that is also called as SUSE Linux and we have Red Hat which also has CentOS under it. When operating Linux, uh, we need to use a shell. Uh, a program that gives you access to the operating system services that are running inside the system. Now we, in order to access these services remotely we have to log in to the virtual machine and that process of logging into the virtual machine uh, is done by SSH. SSH is nothing but secure shell which we can use to log into a remote Linux machine. Now let's try to see what are the different syntaxes that we have in order to log into a virtual machine. The first syntax that we see over here is uh, with the username and the password. For this to work, we actually should be having a local user that is created in the Linux server or the virtual machine and a password associated with that server. So the command is ssh space we provide the username at the rate symbol and then the host address now the host address could be either the ip address or the dns name of the server so uh, let's quickly try to see uh, the first method by looking at how we could achieve that So for this, uh, I already have VirtualBox installed on my system. I would power on the virtual machine that I have and then would try to connect to this VM using my terminal. In this case, I'm using the terminal MobaX term for logging into the machine. As you see, the SSH console is coming up, but we would not be using that. Instead, be using the SSH console so the syntax goes as ssh space the username in this case i am running a open to virtual machine so the username would be ubuntu and then i would provide the ip address i am falling back to 27 127.0.0.1 which is my local ip address and i would be providing a specific port at which i would be logging into this virtual machine so uh, I provide the option hyphen P and 2222 and as you see this is asking me for the password for this virtual machine I punch in the password hit enter after that and this should take me inside the virtual machine where I could see the details of the OS as you see I am running Ubuntu 20.04.4 LTS version that is available with me. Now this was the first syntax or the first method in which we can log into a Linux machine. This is basically using the username and the password. Now there is another syntax or another method in which we can log into the virtual machine or the Linux OS. Now this is with the same username but this time we would be providing an authentication key along with the SSH. The syntax is pretty much the same wherein the syntax goes as ssh space the username at the rate the host address in this case the address could either be the dns entry or the ip address itself and then we provide hyphen i for the identity file and then provide the path for the file let's quickly check uh, to see how we could achieve that for this i am already having a Linux machine in my AWS console. This is the IP address that I hold for this. I would be going to a new window and 
this time I would be going into the directory where my keys are available and I would be doing SSH space the username in this case the username would be easy to hyphen user because I'm using an Amazon Linux virtual machine on the cloud and then the IP address then I would be providing the identity file and I could get the key information from the AWS console itself which is this dot pem I would not be providing any port in this case uh, the port that which would be used to connect would be 22 so SSH by default works on port number 22 in the earlier case we did use a specific port to log into the machine because I have enabled port forwarding on the local VM whereas uh, because the Linux virtual machine on the cloud is not having any port forwarding or any proxies before it so we directly would have connected to the VM on port number 22 as you see uh, we have already connected into the virtual machine and this is Amazon Linux AMI so we are inside the virtual machine now these are the two methods in which we connected to the virtual machine in Linux. The first is using the combination of username and a password. The other is using a combination of username and an authentication key. That's it for this video guys. We would be coming up with many more videos for Linux commands, uh, the basic commands in Linux which are used on a day to day basis. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please like, share the video with your colleagues, friends who are willing to learn Linux. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day.